there are numerous amounts of soil present on the surface of earth each containing soil particles of different sizes shapes and composition if we classify and categorize soils it will be convenient for us to study them we arrange the soils into different groups such that soils in particular group have similar behavior this arranging of soil is called classification system of soil any classification system must provide us the information about the expected engineering properties of a soil it works as a language of communication between engineers classification is done so as to convey the same meaning universally an engineer in one country classifies a soil as sw then another engineer in some other country should be able to understand what kind of soil the other engineer is talking about of course we need to do a detailed soil investigation and testing for the complete knowledge of engineering properties of soil but a classification system provides an idea about soil's engineering behavior any such classification should be simple to use and should have limited number of groups generally we classify soils as cohesionless and cohesive or coarse grain or fine grain but these terms are too general and they certainly do not classify a soil when it is a mixture of different soil grains in different proportions soil grain size has a great influence on the behavior of soils so most soil classification methods use particle size as a basis to classify the soils in groups we generally classify the soils based on the particle size into four broad groups gravel size sand size silt size and clay size gravel sized particles being the largest and clay sized being the smallest do notice that we have written silt size and clay size not the silt and clay because these are the ranges of size not the actual soils silt and clay which exhibit properties of plasticity and cohesion not all the clay sized particles are clay particles a big rock boulder has some rock mineral composition which is different from clay minerals such big rocks because of weathering transforms into smaller particles their size may become as small as clay particles but such particles do not exhibit plasticity as they do not contain the clay mineral and certainly are not clay but definitely clay sized particles clearly we notice a system of soil classification purely based on particle size may be misleading particularly for fine grained soils as their behavior depends on the plasticity characteristics not on their particle size but we must keep in mind that for coarse grained soils their particle size is of great value as their behavior primarily depends upon it these are some classification systems based on particle size only soils are also classified based on their texture texture of a soil means how a soil visually appears and feels texture is influenced by the size shape and gradation of soil particles in a soil a triangular representation of textural classification system was suggested by us bureau of public roads in this system the term texture is used to express the percentage of the three constituents of the soil sand silt and clay on the three sides of equilateral triangle this system assumes that soil does not contain the particles of size larger than sand this equilateral triangle is divided into 12 zones each zone indicates a type of soil if we know the percentage of sand clay and silt in our sample we can use this triangle to know our soil type out of these 12 soil types classified in the triangle but this system also does not takes into account the plasticity and consistency properties which are important when it comes to the fine grained soils two classification systems unified soil classification system and ashto are adopted by us engineering agencies and state departments other countries including india has also adopted the unified system with minor modifications 
AASHTO stands for American Association of State Highway and Transportation Official Classification System. It is particularly useful for classifying soils for highways. This system classifies both coarse grained and fine grained soils using both particle size analysis and plasticity characteristics of soil which makes it a complete classification system. In this system, soils are divided into seven types designated as A1 to A7 based on their relative expected quality for a road amendment and subgrades. Some of the groups are divided into subgroups. Soils within each group are evaluated according to the group index calculated from this empirical formula. In general, greater the GI value, less desirable is the soil for highway construction within that subgroup. Likewise, a soil with lower number, say A1, is more suitable for highway material than A4. In Ashto system, initially there was no place for organic soil. So, additional group A8 was introduced for peat. Then comes the Unified Soil Classification System. It was first developed by Casagrande and later it was modified by Bureau of Reclamation and the Corps of Engineers of the USA. This system has also been adopted by American Society of Testing Materials ASTM. It is the most popular system for use in all types of engineering problems involving soil. This system identifies soils primarily as coarse grained, fine grained and highly organic. Coarse grained soils are classified on the basis of their grain size distribution. And the fine grained soils whose behavior is controlled by plasticity are classified on the basis of their plasticity characteristics. According to this system, coarse grain soils are those which when sieved, more than 50% of their mass is retained on 0.075 mnc. It means more than 50% of the soil mass contains particles which are larger than 0.075 mm, could not pass the 0.075 mmc. If more than 50% of the soil material passes through this sieve, then the soil is classified as fine grained soil. This soil will contain more than 50% of its soil mass made up of particles which are smaller than 0.075 mm. These are some symbols used in the system to classify the soils. G is for gravel, S is for sand, M for silt and C for clay. O is organic and PD is for peat. Peat are highly organic soils. It also uses symbols W for well graded, P for poorly graded, L for low plasticity and H for high plasticity. Coarse grained soils are further divided into two categories. We further see our obtained coarse grained soil part using 4.75 mmc. This sieve has larger openings than that of which we used earlier. What we are trying to do is to separate the coarser part of the coarse grained soil from the finer part. If more than 50% of this coarser fraction of soil is retained on this 4.75 mmc, then soil is designated as gravel and is denoted with letter G. And if more than 50% of coarser fraction of soil passes through this sieve, soil is called sand and is denoted with the letter S. A soil labeled as gravel has more than 50% of coarse grain particles which may also contain some percentage of sand particles and some of fines. If the percentage of these fines in this gravelly soil is less than 5% and if the soil is well graded, that is soil contains all kinds of soil particles, then it is classified as well graded gravel and it is represented by symbol GW. If the soil is poorly graded, then it is poorly graded gravel with the symbol GP. Similarly, SW and SP go for the scent. Now if the percentage of fines in the soil is greater than 12% and if it is gravel soil and contains silts as its fine, it is designated as GM. 
G for gravel and M for silt. GC if the fines are clay. SM if soil is sand and contains fines of silt. And SC if sand contains fines of clay. If the percentage of fines in coarse soils is between 5 to 12 percent, then we use dual symbols to represent them. A well graded gravel having 8 percent of silt content is represented as GWGM. Similarly, for poorly graded sand having 9 percent clay content, the symbol will be SPSC and similarly others. It was the classification of coarse green soils. Now we look into the classification of fine green soils. Fine green soils are divided on the basis of their liquid limit and plasticity properties. Kesse Granit plotted a plasticity chart, a graph of plasticity index of soil and its liquid limit. It is plotted from the experimental results of soils collected from different parts of the world. He separated clay silt and organic soils using a graph he called A-line. Equation of this A-line is given as this. Clay soils sit above A-line as they have high value of plasticity index because of the clay minerals present in them, where the silts and organic soils lies below this A-line. Unified system classifies fine grained soils in two categories as soils having liquid limit less than 50% and soils having liquid limit greater than 50%. So in the graph, we plot a vertical line at liquid limit 50%. According to this system, fine grained soils lying to the right of this line have high liquid limit and are represented by symbol H. If the soil in this part is clay, then symbol used will be CH. If it is silt, then MH and for organic soil it is OH. Soils lying to the left of this 50% line have low value of liquid limit. So they are represented by symbol L. Soils in this part are described similarly CL, ML and OL. This line already separates clays from silt and organic soil. Now to distinguish between the silt which is inorganic soil and organic soils, we use oven drying. We note down the soil's liquid limit before and after oven drying. If oven drying decreases the liquid limit of soil by 30% or more, the soil is organic and it will have symbols OL or OH. And if the decrease in the liquid limit is less than 30%, soil is inorganic and the symbols will be ML or MH. A U-line is also defined as the upper limit of the correlation between the plasticity index and liquid limit of soil. If the test results of the soil fall above U-line, then results are considered faulty and experiment should be repeated. Equation of the U-line is given as this. It was the classification of fine grained soils. Lastly, the third category unified system defines is highly organic soils. We can identify them by simply looking at them. These soils are termed as peat and are designated by the symbol PT. These soils are not subdivided. And now we can complete our unified soil classification system chart. Symbols used in the unified system are more descriptive and are more easily remembered. This classification system has also been adopted by the Bureau of Indian Standards, making the Indian Standard Soil Classification System. Indian Classification System is in many respects similar to the Unified Classification System. There is one basic modification which is in the classification of fine grained soils. In Indian Classification System, fine grained soils are divided into three categories of low, medium and high liquid limit instead of only two categories of low and high liquid limit in the unified system. Medium category is defined between the liquid limit 35% to 50%. So in the graph, another vertical line can be drawn at liquid limit 35%. And soils 
falling in this region are denoted by symbol i, i for intermediate, such as ci, mi and oi. The classification criterion for the coarse green soils is the same as the unified system. It has similar naming processes. The division of soil fractions purely on the basis of grain size can be shown as this. Soil particles of size greater than 300 mm are called boulders. Particles between 80 to 300 mm are called cobbles. Gravel is defined between 80 mm to 4.75 mm. Sand ranges from 0.075 mm to 4.75 mm. Silt particles have size between 0.075 mm to 0.002 mm. And clay particles are of size below 0.002 mm or 2 micron. Make notes or write your daily learnings in elementary engineering diaries. Buy them at Professor. Find the link below. Also, read soil classification on elementaryengineeringlibrary.com. Link is in the description. Thank you.